Hi all folks, this is Max from HighOnAndroid.com and GalaxyS2Root.com. So I've got the T-Mobile uh, Galaxy S2. This is the only Galaxy S2 that comes with a uh, 1.5 gigahertz processor instead of the Zynos. I think it's T-Map. Oh, hold on. So it comes with the Qualcomm um, S3 processor. So let's do some tests real quick. Let's do a quadrant test. Uh, I'm not syncing at all right now. Um, so this would be a good test. And I was getting at least 3200 to 3400 on stock Epic 4G Touch and the um, AT&T version and also the um, the original international version. So I'm hoping to get somewhere around 33,000, 3200. That would be decent, um, but it is higher clocked. But I believe the GPU is different. Uh, it's not the Mali. Or is it? I'll have to double check on this. But um, we'll have a full rooting guide over at GalaxyS2Root.com probably today because I'm too excited. Um, but let's do the quadrant test. That was pretty quick. Uh, let's see what kind of results we got. 2545. Um, that's quite disappointing because that's a lot slower than uh, my other S2s. And I've ran it before too. I was getting like 2400. Um, but that that's just a video of the quadrant test so I can, you know, when we root it and overclock it, um, hopefully we'll get faster speeds. Um, but it seems a little bit slower than the other Galaxy S2s. Um, so that was it.